There had been a big storm on the island of Sodor. Trees were down and fences had been blown over. Kelly and Isabella had been clearing fallen trees since the crack of dawn. Ned and Max were helping remove a landslide. And Nelson and Oliver were on their way to clear Henry's tunnel. Sir Topham had sent Thomas to take his friends to the soccer field. We must leave immediately, said Miss Jenny. The car park is covered with fallen trees. Tomorrow is the big game, said Thomas. We'll have to move the trees today, clatter Jack. You could rely on us, Steve Buster. I'm sorry, Buster, said Miss Jenny kindly, but this is a job for lifters, pushers, and haulers. Buster was sad. Buster watched as everyone left. Everyone's got a job but me, he said. Thomas knew his friend Buster was unhappy. Nobody likes to be left out. At the soccer field, everyone was working very hard clearing up the fallen trees. Thomas could see there was lots to do, but nothing for his friend Buster. Buster was upset. It's not fair, he puffed. I want to help, too. The work had gone very well. They were almost finished when Isabella arrived with the new goalposts. Then, Miss Jenny went onto the soccer field. Oh, my goodness, she cried. Hills. Miss Jenny would need Buster after all. Thomas returned to the yards as fast as he could. Buster, I've come to take you to the soccer field, he chuffed cheerfully. Miss Jenny needs you urgently. Buster was so excited he thought his boiler would burst. Yay! He was very happy. There was nothing better than being needed urgently. Soon, they arrived at the soccer field. After Buster was unloaded, he was amazed by what he saw. Bowl hills, he cried excitedly. Hundreds of them! It looks like a giant chocolate chip cookie, only green. This was the moment he had been waiting for. Buster clanked and sputtered and flattened and smoothed. Even the moles who had hurried to the sideline stayed to watch. He's good, very good. His smoke was blowing, his steam was white and feathery. We'll do it again. In no time at all, the soccer field was flat again. Well done, said the coach. The game can start right on time, said Isabella. Everyone congratulated Buster, but Miss Jenny gave him the nicest praise of all. She told him simply that he'd been really useful. Buster was proud. And all the way home, Thomas could see that Buster was happy. It's a grand thing to be really useful.